Hey guys, welcome back. Leo Pato TV, you're watching right now. This is gonna be a very cool video, series, parts of videos, whatever it is, however I'm gonna break it down. You definitely wanna stay tuned, you definitely wanna subscribe, and thank you to all of those that have subscribed already. I appreciate it, the channel has grown, and I wanna say thank you guys before off anything. This goes out to all my fish lovers Getting together on the form and just hover Nothing to hide but to only uncover Treating one another like it's our own brother So, next What do I got here behind me? First, let's check out my shark shirt Eh? Custom made Leo Pazzo. Nice little shark shirt, pretty sick, eh? Pretty aggressive I gotta keep on going hard I'm gonna get the tank I want And you know it looks so crazy It's amazing Anyways, guys, I'm building a 120, 120 gallon saltwater coral reef fish tank for one of my clients They currently own a 60 gallon tank that they purchased off of me um, if you remember watching a few of my videos, I had it set up right there beside my 125 gallon tank built into the wall And they purchased that tank and stand that set up the whole livestock everything I delivered it to their house They've been happy fantastic for the last few years now their fish have been growing uh, So big that they've decided that it is necessary to upgrade to a 120 gallon tank So being a 60 gallon tank that they're currently in 120 is going to be exactly double plus the sump filtration, which uh, we're gonna be using um, a 30 gallon, I believe, for this um, new 120 gallon tank built. But this is what's going on. Let me just get to the important stuff. I picked up myself five pieces of glass, custom size, custom fit, exact measurements that I need. Um, again, we have the front panel and back panel, which is right here, the front and back of the aquarium. We've got two panels, it's 12 mil, half inch thick. We have the bottom panel, which is right here. Here are the sides, two by two pieces, two feet by two feet, 24 inches by 24 inches, approximate. And again, the tank's gonna be measured uh, four feet by two feet when it's finished. We're gonna put an overflow box on the right-hand side. Um, on the back, uh, an acrylic overflow box, black one. We're gonna put an inch and a half drain. We're gonna put a one inch return. We're going to set up all the plumbing. We're going to build the sump, 30 gallon sump, probably three to four chambers. We're going to use, uh, be using a DC return pump. Uh, most likely also be using a DC skimmer. Uh, we got to get a heater, wave maker. So we got a lot of stuff on our plate, lots of stuff to do. We got to actually build a stand as well. We're going to probably be building an oak stand. So guys, just stay tuned, Leo Pazzo. Um, right now we're just getting started. Like I said, I just finished cleaning these guys all off, preparing all the glass, putting the tape on it spacing it to the thickness that I need, which this space is approximately uh, almost three quarters of an inch, which leaves me a half inch for the other piece of glass that's gonna rest on there, uh, that's gonna butt up to there, along with a little uh, about less than a quarter inch of uh, silicone gap on the inside of the tank. I wanna show you all the tools and everything that I've been using here. So we got the acetone right here that I've been cleaning uh, the glass with, with some good old handy paper towel. Along with that, we got a nice razor blade, fresh razor blade to clean off anything, cut the tape, all that jazz. We got a important, we got a square right here to make sure that the tank is nice and square. Um, what else do we have? We got a few of these uh, 90 degree uh, brackets that are going to allow me to put these into the corners of the aquarium, of the glass, and to hold it in place. Um, I had one more, I don't know where it went right now. It's right over here. So I got four of these 90 degree brackets that are adjustable. I got my little uh, pliers right here along with my caulking gun. Here's the caulking gun. We got uh, two tubes of clear silicone from Marineland right here. I got two tubes of this. Um, we got our good old uh, masking tape, painter's tape. And for the most part, I think that's it that I'm using right now. You might ask, why do I have these pliers? Well, these pliers is a little trick that I'm going to tell you. Um, I might as well just tell you now. So I'm going to cut this at that, uh, you know, how you normally cut the caulking, uh, the caulking uh, tube, like in a slight little angle. And then from there, I'm going to squeeze down the head. So it actually, like where I cut it, I'm going to squeeze it down so it becomes more flat instead of being more circular. And what that's going to do is allow me 
to uh, apply the silicone, actually I'm going to say inject the silicone into the glass seams where I'm going to be leaving the space for the silicone to go. This is called injection method, um, an injection method of an aquarium build. So if you want to know how to build an aquarium injection method, this is the video and what you guys want to watch, to be honest with you, because that's what I'm going to be doing. And I want to show you guys all the tips and tricks along the way. There's not really too much information out there. I've done this a few times. I'm very confident in how it works and how to do it. And I've learned a lot of things along the way. And I want to share them with you guys. So like I said, go ahead and subscribe. We're looking at these five pieces of glass, glass panels right here. 12 millimeter, which is half inch thick. And they're all custom fit to size. And we're going to be building this 120 gallon rimless reef tank. Stay tuned guys, I'm going to bring you guys along the way. Don't forget to subscribe, until next time.